So, it's new season time, it's season 22, we have a new map and we still have the same bots that fly into these games. Now, I wasn't actually going to think of making more videos like this because I just think it's kind of pointless at this point, but there was a few points I wanted to bring up, so I thought I'd let everyone know that you can still do it for free, nothing's been changed at all, and if you do it at the right time and uh, on the right servers, you're good to get a lot of kills. In the background, this is obviously from this season on one of my many PC accounts. I don't even play on PC, I play on console, so for me this is quite difficult. There are ways to do it on console, as I said before. If you want to know how to do it, join my Discord, and a lot of people can explain to you that you, you do need a PC account somehow so you need to join a PC like a PC friends game or you need like a GeForce emulator to emulate a PC either way you need a PC account to host this so you can get into the PC lobbies as you can see in the background there this is a PC lobby so in this game I dropped just over 40 kills and uh, honestly there's a couple people in this game that were also just messing about doing this as well so I just kind of had a little fun with them shooting each other my PC cannot run Apex very well, so I, I can't shoot properly or anything. I just, uh, yeah, so the FPS is way off and, I, and it just feels disgusting to be honest. But as you can see, it still works for everyone in a new season now. And uh, in this video, I'll teach you how to do this quickly just because I don't want people actually paying for this. Recently, Novel, I think it's Novel, how he's, this is a, his channel here. He actually edits for Ford and Smash, I think, is what well, you might know Ford and Smash more than him. Uh, but yeah, he made a video on AFK bots and my thumbnails made it into the video. So, you know, yeah, uh, kind of a big deal. I'm, I'm joking. I, I actually quite like that, to be honest. It means that at least in some capacity, my videos and stuff are getting seen by other people and other YouTubers. So to me, not a bad thing at all. I don't mind. And uh, I just want to say that in the video, it was kind of like me. He said that I advertise stuff like this. And I don't, I don't advertise people buying anything, to be honest. This is the only reason I still make videos like this, is because you can do it for free. I'm not going to, I don't want people paying 20, 30, 40 pounds, dollars for a badge, when, first of all, the game is five or six years old, the badges are really, really outdated, and we really do need new ones. The only thing that is shying me away from having a 25 kill badge or a 30 kill badge with the new revival game mode is this exact bot lobby thing. You could literally, I, I could do this in an hour if I wanted to, and I wanted to cheat it. I know that most people don't want to cheat it, and they just want to do it properly, and for most people, it would be a really fun grind, and something new to grind for. So I think they should really bring out new badges, and it is about time they do something like that, I think. With the new solos badge that they brought out last season, I think it's a good time to try it out. I know a lot of people can still boost it if they're not good enough players to actually get it, which makes sense. I mean, most people aren't good enough players to actually play and get 20 bombs, and I get that. Uh, you got to just think if you dropped like near a 20 bomb this season already on the revival mode. If you haven't, then maybe you will eventually, but you just got to play the game a lot. If you don't play the game almost every day, you almost don't deserve a 20 bomb. And that's how I look at it anyway. I play the game a lot. I've dropped, I don't know how many hundred 20 bombs, uh, but a lot of 20 bombs, on mostly on this channel. And uh, yeah, so... I'm going to wear a place where I do kind of do bot lobby videos like this one. But at the same time, I know I can actually play the game. And I know I'm playing on console, but still. It still it still counts. I can still play the game quite well. So now I want to how to actually do this because I, I need to tell people because I they either need to stop, like they need to sort this out, like ban it somehow. Uh, no idea how they're going to do that because right now they cannot ban everyone that plays on the servers that I'm going to tell you to play on. So I don't know how they can ban this right now. They just need to find a way to like make it so AFK bots are kicked from games but at the same time they're not afk because they kind of shoot they punch they jump so it is difficult this one and also i will mention i am um, they removed seasonal trackers and i i know someone's told me before that the reason for this is because a lot of people that were high up on the leaderboards were just like cheating kills. So using bot lobbies like this, there are ways to actually get yourself in constant bot lobbies. You put your own bots into games and uh, I don't know how to do that. And that's what most people, if they offer like, it says like £40 or something, $40 for a 20 bomb badge. That's probably the service they're offering is that they have all their own bots. And I don't have all my own bots. I just use random ones that anyone can use in the game. And I don't often use them, to be honest. I actually went onto an account that I did this on like a few weeks, months back. And it's actually banned now. And I don't, I wouldn't say it's banned because of this. You, it can't be banned because of this. You're just killing people in the server. I, I think the reason it's banned is because it's an AFK account now. It's not been used. It's low level. I got like a thousand kills in like two days and then didn't use it. But anyway, I'm blabbering on a bit here. So... 
You need a PC account or a way to get into a PC lobby. Second, you need to change your server. There's a few servers that work. The main servers I always use are Hong Kong. Taiwan also works. And there's a few other of the Asian ones that do also work as well. But for me, Hong Kong is the main one. The next thing is you need to do this at a time when it's quiet in the server that you're playing on. So Hong Kong needs to be like kind of like midnight to early morning. When the least amount of real players are on, you get more bots in your game because bots are just there's more of them at, there's not more of them at night but there's less real players at night so you get more bots in your game and that's pretty much it there, there's nothing else to this i'm not saying you will get lucky and drop like 20 to 50 kills a game in the background game here this 40 game play I, it took me like I don't know, 10 15 games to get a game like this it is not a straightforward thing that you get like straight away you can get lucky and get it straight away but you won't every single time and i know that people use this to kill grind because it is easier but it is so boring i don't know how people actually decide to do that and uh, honestly, the seasonal trackers thing, although it does take something away, because I know a lot of people like to grind kills and stuff, I do like the new kind of stat trackers they have and all the uh, new artwork and stuff. It does, it does, I do like it. It just adds a little bit more that you can kind of show off what stats you want. But the seasonal trackers going is a bit of an L to me. I, I think they they should, probably shouldn't have done it, but the reason they've done it is to try and stop people grinding kills on against bots and stuff like this, apparently. So just a tip for this, they, these uh, bots always fly right to the end and then they turn around, so just stay in the ship late. You can know how many bots are in your game by pretty much staying in the ship and just looking at the count. You normally get, well, it, it completely depends to be honest. Uh, you normally get anywhere from like 10 to 40. That's like the average. And occasionally you can get less, occasionally you can get more, occasionally you can get none at all. But honestly, the people that actually play in Hong Kong, like, they must never use their own servers because these bots must infest them, which is just crazy. Imagine how living in Hong Kong and you can get decent ping and you can't play on your server at a certain time because there's so many bots in the game that it's just uh, completely pointless to you it is so strange i really wish they would add more badges but at the same time it just scares me for this exact situation is that i could have got this badge for free uh new badges for free and although i'd rather people get them for free using their own bots like this than people than paying other people to do the same thing uh i I just don't know what they can do about this. It is such a difficult one to do. Um, every video I make, I kind of think, oh, should I make a video? And then it comes down to a point where if I don't make it, someone will buy it. So if I didn't, one of you watching this would have probably thinking about buying a badge. And if you were, let me know in the comment. If you, in the comment, in the comments, uh, if you were like gonna buy a badge and then suddenly you came across this video and it made it like deterred you away from buying a badge, then let me know because that's kind of what I want from this. I'd love to see it actually like stopped, banned. And it's not banned, just the AFK bots to disappear. But honestly, I don't even know if that's on the cards in any way. If they can do it, if they even know how. I honestly do not know. So that comes to the end of the video. If you have any questions about this, go join my Discord. It's in the description just below. There's a lot of people in there that know how to do this, have done this, and uh, I'm in there as well that can help you if you need to. It's not something I want to advertise, but at the same time, if you can do it for free, I'd rather you do that. But in the end of this, I would love to see it just disappear completely once again. But cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment telling me why you are watching this video and why you are interested in it, because I'm interested in what your opinions are. And uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace out for now.